you know, you're an incredible filmmaker, a, an incredible historian. And looking at what we've lived through the last year, I just wonder how you're going to kind of deal with this huge event. I know you've called it the, the, fir the fourth greatest event in terms of uh, the pain and suffering that it's caused in, in our history for the United States. How, how do you look at it already, even though we're still so close to all of the events and haven't escaped it yet? Yeah, we have not escaped it. And so for somebody in the history business, you've got to have 10 years, 15 years, who knows the way things are accelerated, maybe less than that. But I think this is the worst crisis because it's three viruses at once. It's the obviously the COVID virus of a year and a quarter. It's the 402-year-old uh, virus of racial injustice, white supremacy. And it's also the age-old, very, very human virus of lying, misinformation, distortion, conspiracy, and all those working at once are the greatest threat, I believe, or have at least revealed how fragile our institutions, our democratic institutions are. And that has got to be scary to just about anybody in any field. Uh, the interesting thing is I've been in with PBS since the very beginning of my professional life, and we were totally suited for the pandemic. Um, we just went into action. We reach every classroom in America. We have, in essence, the largest classroom. So we started offering things on, you know, broadcast, but also streaming right away. And we saw a total uptick in not only um, the audience, but we saw the increased uh, sense that PBS has, as, as it's been for years, the number one brand in the United States. Now, I've because I've spent my entire professional life with PBS, I'm, I'm sort of part of the tortoise, you know, and we've given the hair uh, new running sneakers for the last few years. Uh, the streaming situation, the documentary world has really, really opened up. But I think that in the end, PBS will always cross the best science, the best nature, the best performance, the best public affairs, the best children, and I'm told the best history pro programming on no longer the <laughs> dial. Uh, really, I think, positions us in a really good way, but it's a golden age right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.